Hello, my name is Abe. Welcome to Spelunky 2. I have not seen much about Spelunky 2. I've watched very, very little footage of it, just so I wanted to make sure that I had mostly first impressions playing this game. I did jump in for a second to do some audio balancing, and that's about it. Hopefully the balance is pretty decent. There's bats flying across the screen. <laughs> And I'm excited! I'm so excited to play Spelunky 2 because I played a lot of Spelunky 1. Uh, and I'm I'm just I just want to jump right in. You probably know what Spelunky is. If you don't, roguelite, platformer, death marathon game. And we can choose to play as Anna, Margaret, Colin, Farrell, and Rafi. Rafi the sloth. <laughs> we'll just play as Anna for the time being. Maybe I'm a bit of a, a Colin main myself, but. Anna can suffice for now. And we are jumping in to Spelunky. So, interestingly, you start with run on and you can toggle walking mode. I don't know if that's actually gonna matter. We have a torch, you can throw your torch. There's a ladder, we can climb a ladder. We also have a whip. We can use the whip to hit enemies, but this is all going to be tutorialized in a moment. You can also hit yourself with things. This is how you die most of the time in Spelunky. You try to do something and you accidentally hit yourself. Ow. I burned the rope! Oh no! I can't leave anymore. Wow, it's been 15 years since my last entry. So much has happened since I escaped the cave of Olmec with his treasure. Tina and I became parents. We named our daughter Anna. She's a strong kid and a natural explorer. And that's me! I'm Anna. Whoops, sorry. Anna hits herself with the torch a lot. She's getting better though. We enter these little doorways to go between the front and background layers. And there's another note here. The dreams began when Anna turned five. In the dream, I'd look out the window at the full moon and see Olmec's fate in it. Face in it. I tried to ignore it. I mean, we all saw Olmec sink into that lake of lava, didn't we? In Spelunky 1, you drown Olmec in a lake of lava and escape a magical volcano with his treasure. L. Yep, I've played Spelunky 1, so most of these controls are gonna be uh, pretty familiar to me. We're just gonna drop all the way down here. We have a whip, we can use it on enemies. There's a treasure chest, we can open it and get some money displayed in the top right. We can also take all of these objects and use them as weapons if we want. We could accidentally hit ourselves. We gotta be careful of that. Our HP is in the top left corner there, as you can see. Be careful. I'm just gonna take the torch, though. And our dog, Monty, has, uh, has run off. But there's another page here. Our curiosity was too much to resist. With Colin's help, Tina and I built a spaceship that could take us to the moon. Look, look at Colin's wide, soulless eyes as he's staring at these spaceship blueprints. What? <laughs> he's seen some S. Anna wants to come, but it feels a little dangerous, and I think she sh should stay and finish out the school year. Besides, we should be back before she knows it. There's probably nothing there anyways. On the moon? I heard it's made of cheese. Do you have to have played one, or does it matter? It does not matter if you played Spelunky 1, with the exception that you'll know how to move and, uh, you know, how to interact with things. Dude, there's actually heat effects on the torch that's causing the background tutorial image to kind of warp a little bit. That's pretty sweet. Press select to open the menu option and change your control scheme. My control scheme is just fine. Crates contain items like bombs, so we can just place a bomb to blow up, blow up in a little bit of a hole here. And we'll grab this next page. It was hard to say goodbye. Part of me wishes we'd brought Anna with us. She loves space, and we keep wanting to show her things in the ship. At least she has Monty to keep her company. Monty the dog! This chest contains ropes. We will rope up. Well, I mean, bring the torch. We want something to throw at our enemies. Dog, what are you doing? Get back here, dog. The movement in Spelunky, by the way, is amazing. Very, very tight controls. Oh, I saved my torch. 
It's unbelievable. There's a giant Olmec on the surface of the moon and a cave. A feeling of deja vu swept over us, and we were drawn toward the entrance like iron filings to a magnet. A voice is calling to us. Is it Olmec or something else? <laughs> Who knows? Save the torch. Because if you put the torch in the water, it goes out. Physics! Ah, there's a little bit of a cave entrance here. We'll change between the layers, and that's a that's a big change. Oh, we can re relight the torch too, I forgot about that. It's a big change in Spelunky 2. There were no multiple layers in Spelunky 1, so it's kind of interesting. I'm wondering how many secrets are gonna be hidden behind layers and layers. Dog, get your ass back here. We've been in the moon for what feels like many months already, but it's hard to tell. Just like before, time and death work differently here. It feels like we've slipped into another crack in the universe, like the cave of Olmec, connected to it perhaps, but also bigger, much bigger. It's a bigger game. <laughs> he, he the beast, welcome the hell my Gungeon at. Uh, Gungeon is now being replaced by Spelunky 2. Dog, stay up there. You've got the journal, press select. Anna, if you're reading this, then you probably get, it's a key. Then you've probably guessed that mom and dad are somewhere down below trying to find a way out. I'm sorry we should have brought you with us, but try not to worry. To be honest, we're having fun. Take your time and don't rush. Remember, it's easier to get hurt if you're not careful. We're having fun dying to snakes, bats, monkeys, cavemen, and spikes. Yes, spikes, as they pr protrude through our body over and over again for eternity. It's hell, Anna, leave, run. Just remember what we taught you and you'll be fine. This journal is out, is yours now, not ours now. Make the most of it and we'll see you soon. Happy spelunkying. Pick up the key. You put it in the door. Achievement unlocked, you've done the tutorial. The dog went through the door. Oh, hold on, I gotta get my dog. Oh, and we're, we're gonna start our first run of Spelunky. Ow. Let's do it. The walls are shifting, and the uh, door has an infinity symbol above it. And there's skulls, and the music is wonderful. I haven't actually heard the music before. Hopefully it's not too loud or anything. Spelunky usually tries to start you out with like a skull or a rock so you can get away from traps. So we've got this little uh, tiki trap here, careful. A caveman who was asleep and I woke him up. I'm sorry, caveman. Also a dink 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 sound effect, you guys hear that? I don't know what that dink 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 sound effect was, but... Please? Got him. Caveman, one of our primitive ancestors. His simple life is somewhat enviable. There was also something else. No, oh, it was a trap, probably. Bear trap. Quillback built these to train his followers, although they mostly serve to put them to sleep. Quillback. Also, there was a map. <laughs> There's actually a map in the game now, on the left there. That's awesome. Uh, now I got a dude. I just got his, his, his body here. So be very careful traversing down, picking up these gold nuggets as we go. That is a dung beetle with a piece of poop. I killed him, I'm sorry. There's also a pot here. Pots tend to have, uh, why did it give me a notification for it? Pots tend to have gold in them. Items. I don't know, it's like pots have money. This one had a diamond in it. <laughs> and summon the ghost. All right, well, that was a little unexpected. There's the ghost, everybody. He'll kill you. Um, there's something in the wall, too. Okay. Um, well, we gotta run now because the ghost is after us. These skel skeleton, skeleton blocks, I guess you can just kind of get your way through them. I'm running, by the way. I'm just like trying to make the most of the situation. All right, the ghost has split into two and I am most certainly dead. Yeah, okay. You know, that's Spelunky in a nutshell right there. <laughs> Quick restart. <laughs> There's our trusty little rock here. And that's the arrow trap, okay. 
I don't know what that pot was. The pot had a diamond and summoned a ghost, and the ghost turned into two ghosts. That seems a little unfair and unfortunate, but it was a big pot too. I was like, man, this is a big pot. Kill that snake. Hold on, I gotta, I gotta find that in the, uh, it's probably a trap then, huh? Arrow trap, bear trap, where's pot trap? It's gotta be in here somewhere. It's not in there. Items? It's probably an item then. I wanna find pot, there it is. Curse pot, a clay pot filled with a toxic substance rumored to be a mixture of ectoplasm and cursed blood. Yeah, don't, don't. The pot had a snake in it, so when I killed the snake, it created... Oh, you got me. You got me, skeleton, you got me. <laughs> also, that caveman has a gold bar. Why does that caveman have a gold bar? This is mine. Ooga, ooga. Get out of here. I hear the dog. What are you? Ah, I put the rock down instead of throwing it. He, like, travels through the dirt. What? He was invincible coming out of the freaking ground. I'm gonna kill you. I'm not gonna let you kill me. He's invincible. Oh my god. Cave mole. Who's got teeth like spades and needs no shades? Cave mole. Cave mole. He. Killed me. <laughs> There's gonna be a lot of deaths in Newfangled Spelunky 2 while we're trying to figure out what everything does and how to actually survive in this game. I should not have done that, but it worked anyways. Picked up some ropes. Three ropes to help you get to those hard to reach places. You're gonna need a lot of ropes in Spelunky. What is that dink 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 sound effect? But I played a lot of Spelunky, so expect the, uh, the play to be fast and furious here a little bit. I do see the curse pot. I mean, I guess we can just take the curse pot with us and then, oh, sorry. And then we can just break it near the end of the level. And if we break it near the end of the level, then it doesn't matter if the ghost is after us because the ghost will be dealt with. We can deal with the ghosts, right? <laughs> like that one? Okay. Just a lot of exploration. So if you've never played Spelunky, if you've never seen Spelunky, we are in the caves. In the top right corner you can see it says 1-1. One, one. We're on the first area and the first level of the first area. Our objective is to get money. Our objective is to make it past this level to the next level. Oh, go, 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 go. And uh, eventually we make it to the very bottom in Spelunky 1. You fought Old Mech. You dunked him into the lake of lava. You escaped the volcano with his gold and you made a lot of money out of it and you were a very successful adventurer. I don't know what we're doing here in, in Spelunky 2 for the time being. All we're doing is just trying to survive. And is that a freaking turkey? <laughs> and trying to figure out what the heck is going on in Spelunky 2. Okay, there is a turkey. These cobwebs, they seem a little bit harder to uh, get rid of. Spelunky 1, you could just jump in them. This one, yeah, in the Spelunky 2, you actually do have to like move back and forth. There are turkeys, excuse me? I can't pick up the turkey. I can pick up the turkey like this. What is that sound effect? Uh, the turkey did not like being held, apparently. There's also a, another cave mole who is now down there. Excuse me. A large meaty bird, all, best known for its fleshy waddle, also known as a snood. I am on a snood. And he has hearts now. And I, oh my God, I'm controlling a turkey. <laughs> I can't pet the turkey, but apparently I, I can, be the turkey and have a double jump and like a flutter? Dude, that's cool. Snood confirmed. 
that's 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 interesting and I can go real low so I can fit through those gaps why am I riding a turkey did I miss something in the development of 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 Spelunky 2 <laughs> there are turkeys oh my god my whip is a is a turkey head bash um Got him. Oh my god. Oh Jesus. That is a <laughs> Did I just see a cooked chicken dinner? <laughs> hmm, this might be harder than I thought. Oh my god. Well, quick restart. <laughs> I just see what in chat from La Chat. Well, obviously, I angered the enemy. There's Monty. Defeated, killed by N.A. Um, I got hit by the enemy. I want to see if he actually does have an entry here in the book. Horned Lizard. It still hasn't figured out how to stop rolling once it starts. The Horned Lizard rolled into me, knocked me into the shop, hit a bomb box, the bomb exploded, angered the shopkeeper who fired his gun, who then hit like another bomb box and then exploded again or something. Like, I'm not entirely sure what happened there, but I see that mole up there. Some sort of Rube Goldberg scenario of destruction caused my death there. I take no credit for that. Gotcha. I accidentally killed the dung beetle. <laughs> we got bombs, fantastic. A large sack filled with three bombs. <clears throat> Excuse me. Is it intentional for people who have Discord linked to Twitch who was subscribed to still have the role? I think there's like a, there's a cooldown. So you don't have to be immediate about it. Okay, bat, oh God. Okay, I don't want the bat to hit me because I'll drop the pot and if I drop the pot, it'll explode. And if the pot explodes, then I will summon the ghost. And I don't want to summon the ghost right now. There was an enemy in that pot, I think. Pots can have enemies in them, so you gotta be careful. And these skeletons can come back to life. Basically, you gotta be careful about everything in Spelunky because everything is out to kill you. <laughs> oh God, like the spider who fell from the ceiling to catch the fly and the fly is me. All right, let's just take, ooh, get this gold. <coughs> Excuse me. Get this gold, take the pot, get the diamond, get out. I think the, well, in Spelunky 1, the ghost came at three, uh, sorry, two and a half minutes. So you couldn't spend a lot of time in, the, in each level. Assuming that's the same here, there's another freaking turkey. I could have used the block to get up there. Uh-oh. Okay, so you, oh, I see. So you can't even control the turkey until you tame the turkey. Hello, there's a, hello? Hmm. I'm looking for turkeys, wanna help? Yang, the youngest of Yang's 12 sons, who are all named Yang, he loves turkeys. <laughs> Thank you. How do I get off of the turkey? I'm sorry, oh God. I couldn't figure out the button to get off of the turkey. And I killed, I guess, I guess if you kill a turkey with a, there's a key down there. And a crossbow? I guess if you blow up a turkey, they give you a chicken dinner. <laughs> or a turkey dinner, rather. I mean, tur you know, turkey would make sense, I suppose. Why do I keep at, what button gets off of a turkey? I gotta figure this out, hold on. Next time we find a turkey, dude, I'm killing you. Whoops, there goes my rock! Oh my god, these guys are really annoying to kill. I'm just gonna leave them. What is that ding ding ding? Is it part of the music? Like, is it a musical cue? Oh my god. I'm not fighting anything anymore. I'm out. Oh god! Look, I had to fight him to get my rock back. Cabbage boxes, you're going to sleep. I'll have a good night. 
Oh, jeez. Thank you, Arrow Trap. You saved my life. If I go down there, I have to get a spend a rope to get out, so I'm not gonna go down there. Unless there's a reason to. There's no reason to go down there for just a little bit of gold. Oh my jeez. Chat asks, WTF is this game? It's Spelunky. You'll be waiting for me at the exit. I'm not worried about a, a gem world right now. Okay. Grab the curse pot. Take it down. Leave it right at the exit. Oh, it's these guys waking up. It gives you the ding ding. Oops. I was wondering what that was. Is, is it their eyes blinking? Ding ding ding. Oh, I gotta use a rope to get out of here. It's probably worth it for the, the dog though, for the HP. Oh, I really want that ruby in the pot, but it's it's gonna be a hassle. Well, yeah, I gotta spend a rope. You can I can only jump two blocks high, but unfortunately I gotta spend a, a rope to get out of that situation. Okay, grab my rock, get out. Slurp, HB. <laughs> oh no, the stream broke for He the Beast? Well, it's still going for me. <clears throat> okay, level one, two. We have 13,100 gold. If we find a shop, we can maybe buy some stuff. If we find Yang, maybe we can find some turkeys and then save his turkeys. Oh God. Okay, so there's Yang and his turkeys and there's the shopkeeper. Welcome to Earl's Clothing Shop. And for once I can actually like look at your shop. Pitcher's Mitt makes you throw in a line instead of a curve. Climbing gloves lets you climb on walls. Spring shoes, they don't look springy. And the cape, I will buy climbing gloves and spring shoes. So now we jump higher. What kind of spring shoes are these? <laughs> Hold on. Oh dude, on the map it even shows you where you picked up items. That's pretty cool. What the heck kind of spring shoes are these? Climbing gloves. Spring shoes. Equipped with alien spring technology, huh? What's the objective of the game? I don't know, I'm trying to figure that out right now. Um, but in Spelunky 1, the objective was make it to the end alive. And you'll have plenty of gold with which to, you know, just live off of, I guess. I don't know what's, I guess we learned what, what the Spelunky people did after they uh, they finish this, they okay, hold on. Thank you. Uh, they just went home <laughs> after the caves of Old Mech. Okay, I can jump high and I have climbing gloves. I think I can actually get out of this area. So I'm gonna travel down here and try to get more turkeys. Well, the snake is dead. Never mind. Okay, that nugget of gold is very important. I'm gonna activate the arrow trap with this. Told you. There's a chicken, he's it. There's a freaking. There's a Kali altar. Kali Ma. Kali altars, if you. Oops. Uh, button is bomb, it's been a while. Kali altars, if you sacrifice bodies at the altar, you can get rewards. But I gotta sacrifice his turkey. Well, not sacrifice the turkey, I gotta save the turkey. I wanna see what Yang does if I give him turkeys. Um, I don't, hold on. <laughs> how do you, how do you get off of the turkey? Up jump, up jump gets you off the turkey. Okay, good. I got the turkey. The turkey is still days. I guess if he's tamed, he'll be days forever, which is pretty sweet. Wow, thanks. Please help yourself to my treasure. He gave me a key. Can I open the door with it? I can. It's a gold bar and a chest that has a total of 1700 gold in it. All right, I'm just gonna call it. Getting the turkeys is probably not worth your time and effort. <laughs> but we got the turkeys at least. So, you know, it's something. Hey, come here. It's the ghost, run. 
Already activated the arrow trap. Keep going. Have not activated this one. Keep going. Get me out of here. Wow, I survived two levels. It's my best run ever. <laughs> yeah, I don't think it's worth it to get the turkeys. It, that, that didn't seem particularly effective and efficient use of my time. I mean, the ghost spawned nearly at the end there. Come here, come here, dog. We gotta go, we gotta go, we gotta move. Also, I counted one turkey, two turkey, three turkey. And that was all the turkeys I counted. Thank you for killing the skeleton. Please kill the spider. By the way, Monty, the dog, he's like the best weapon in the entire game, so. You should always just carry him everywhere. What the heck is this? It is a secretive chest. Hold on, you stay down there. Uh, all right. All right. I can't open the chest. Oh, but it's got an onk on it. That's probably some important part of the of the system. Because in Spelunky One, oh god, it and there's the key right there to open the chest. Uh, in Spelunky One. You had to find, like, th there is a, a set special secret items in the game that you had to get to and collect in order to get to the, to the true ending, because Olmec was not the true ending in Spelunky 1. But, there's the Ujedi. You find it in the mines, and it gives you some limited sight, so we can see that there's a gem in the wall here. And in addition, it lets you do secretive things. There's like another tunnel down there. What kind of secretive things? Well, in Spelunky 1, you could use the Ujidai to find the black market, and in the black market, you could do all sorts of wonderful things. Um, I don't know if any of that still exists in Spelunky 2. We'll find out. We already have the climbing gloves. The spectacles are similar to the Ujidai, except it, they're not super magical, but I'm gonna buy them anyways, because I, uh... Give me the picture, Smith, too. Um, they do give you a more sensitivity in, in like, dark levels, I think. We haven't seen any special levels, but they do exist in Spelunky. You can find levels that are, like, dark or contain spiders or contain piranhas or contain, like, different challenges, like undead. And all of that stuff is just part of the random nature of Spelunky. A AB0020 chat says, I know the secret things. <laughs> You hear the beating of drums. So that's like, that's one of the special levels of, of this game, I, I I assume, because that's how it hap that's how it worked in Spelunky, whoops, sorry. One, you would get a, a text prompt, and the text prompt would be like, the dead are restless, and that means it's an undead level. It would be, uh, you can't see a thing, and that means, oh, that is, oh my god. That means that uh, it's a dark level. Nice bounce. I hear the drums. This seems like a weird... L yeah, this seems like a very strange level. Because it's all just two, la two layers and then those ladders down there. So, let's get our dog. Oh god, don't stand under the, the pile of falling human skulls. Uh, let's get our dog. That caveman has a pot. Will he throw the pot at me? I'm kind of curious about this. No, he just he just holds the pot. Okay. Oh god, he went flying. Wee. Did that pot have a spider in it that I used to kill the spider? Oh my god. You just like hit that corpse directly into me, didn't you? Okay. Hey Monty, let's go. Actually, you stay there for a second. I got to see what this is. Okay. How much you want to bet if I jump on his head, I'll die? He doesn't seem to mind. Oh. Is this like a boss fight? <laughs> um. I just want to throw this pot at you. 
Oh, hello. It's hedgehog. Uh. Oh, God! Oh, all right, I'm alive. <laughs> I imagine you don't want to get hit by this guy who's rolling around like a hedgehog at the speed of sound. I have infinite throwing. Okay, okay, okay. Give me things to throw. Give me things to throw. All the skulls just broke on other skulls. I just want anything I can throw at this guy. Hey, come here. You're, you're freeing a lot of gems, which is nice. <laughs> is it cheesy? I mean, I don't know. It's getting the job done, I hope. Is he dead yet? He's not dead yet. Hey, come here. I gotta get my rocks so that I can throw them at you and hopefully kill you. Are these even doing damage? No, oh, it's doing damage. Oh my lord. I'm gonna kill this guy. Oh, never mind. Um, I guess I'm just gonna die. Um, okay. Um, hold on. Um, go down? Usually you go down in these games, so, uh, there's an exit. Okay. Exit, come here. Go. Sorry, dog. I'll be back later. <laughs> hey there, I'm on the tunnel. You can also call me Tara. I get it. I'm working on a new shortcut, but I ran out of supplies. What happened to Tunnel Man? Mind donating $2,000 so I can restock? Sure. Thanks, can't wait to finish this shortcut. You do that. I guess that's cool back then. Ah, uh, Stormworm, you're right. That is cool back. What? Welcome to Yang's Pet Shop. Have a turkey. Do the music. Da, 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 da. Oh, oh, he's angry because I I jumped on the turkey. That's like main menu from Spelunky One music. I'm just gonna buy your ropes though. I don't want a turkey in this zone. Turkeys seem hard to control. Um, it's a mosquito. An annoying pest makes me mad just thinking about it. Tall man's daughter? Maybe it's Tall man's wife. It's been 15 years. She looks pretty good for her age. I don't know. By the way, man-eating plants, that pot had a spider in it. Man-eating plants, um, they don't call them man-eating for a reason. Okay, and that block, apparently, kills you. <laughs> so, be careful of skull blocks, got it. What is this? Snap trap, the slightest pressure will cause its powerful steel jaws to snap shut, causing massive damage. All right, I'm glad I, I saw that, because that's a monkey. Because uh, I was looking at the skull block and I'm like, let's take a look around for a minute. <laughs> okay, there's uh, this wall here has spikes on it. Doesn't seem to hurt though. Yeah, it's not hurting the dog anyways. This spider looks amazing. Uh, he's dead. And what is that? It's like a leprechaun. What? I want to see the spider. Quillback, the leader of the cavemen, a big bully who wears the pelt of the last cave porcupine. Oh good, I'm not going to be finding any cave porcupines. Monkey. Monkey will um, knock you out or steal your bombs and then blow you up. You got to be careful around the monkeys. Oh. Hang spider. It could chase you if it had to, but it'd rather not leave its web if possible. Okay. Stormworm says, I have to stop because I don't want to spoil myself. Good enough reason. That's why I, I wanted to stay away from, this guy looks angry. That's why I stayed away from most Spelunky 2 content because I wanted to play for myself. Okay, so the mosquito is definitely trapped. Got him. He's on me. He stole my gold. Oh my God. He's not hurting me. He's just making it impossible for me to do anything. He disappeared. He steals your gold and runs away. <laughs> what a jerk. 
Oh my god. Look at all these enemies in this in this spider web. Bet you I can kill them all. It's also a butterfly in the spider web. Look at the look at the expression on the dog. Hold on. I'll get you out of there. You stupid dog. Yeah, there you go. Ooh, that guy has a shield. Oh my god! Oh, scared the Christ out of me. Oh, there was a freaking skull block under the block that I pushed. <laughs> oh my Jesus. Oh. Look, we can't expect every run to be a success. That was pretty good though. We made it to the jungle. We didn't kill Quillback though but I was hitting with a lot of things. He must have a lot of health. I don't know how you're gonna kill Quillback. Nice throw. Ding, 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 ding. Why do they sound like a... F I don't know what they sound like. He looks very happy when he's unconscious. He must be having a good dream. Sorry. He still looks happy. He was happy when he died, doing what he loved, chasing Gungeoneers. I'm also noticing the bats seem a little bit different. They don't flutter, stop, flutter, stop. They just kind of go in one big ol' motion. Oh, I almost hurt myself. Not, I'm not, not gonna say kill myself, I almost hurt myself though. Is there an in-game in -game death counter? Almost certainly. Um, in the main menu, there's probably an in-depth death counter. In-depth in death counter, there you go. Yo, nice bounce. Okay, good curse pot location. Can deposit it right at the exit, right here. No need for ropes. I would have to spend a rope to get the dog. I kind of want the gold over there too. I'll spin a rope to get the dog. There's a dog plushie on the rope. What? Where do I where do I change my cosmetic items in this game? Connie, hello, welcome. Indeed, Spelunky hype. Okay. Get the diamond. A terrible chill run, runs up your spine. Leave. Use your ropes. I don't like using all my ropes, yo, Kali. But I will try to use my ropes on occasion. So we could actually get some good Kali benefits going on here. We take these dudes, kill them, and then we can put their bodies inside of the Kali altar, sacrifice them, and by sacrificing them, you woke up. We can get some items. We also want to find, if we can, the, uh... All right. Um, ah! We want to find the, uh, the Monty Dog, because if we find Monty Dog, we can also sacrifice Monty Dog for, like, a full big payout immediately. Oh, the body blocked the arrow uh, from the Kali statue, so. Uh, sacrifice and a live body. It's worth more. Okay. Come here. They just knock the bodies so far. Kali's affected, affected. Kali accepts your sacrifice. She seems pleased. Look, it's gonna take me a while to actually talk. I'm excited. There's, the thing is, there's no way I'm getting these bodies to Kali to sacrifice when they're alive. Because it's, it's too long of a distance, they'll wake up. So instead, I'm just going to be sacrificing these dead old bodies to Kali. Kalima! 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 Indiana Jones, anybody? I want this guy to come out of the wall! I want to sacrifice your dumbass body to Kali. No? Alright, see you later. Is that a crossbow? That's the ice gun, the freeze ray. 
buy the crossbow, buy the bomb box. I will buy a bomb box from the shopkeep. I'm not gonna be killing any, I'm not gonna be killing any shopkeeps right now. That's something for another day. Um, no, this is fine, this is fine. I'll tame the turkey, get off the turkey, pick up the turkey, sacrifice the turkey. I will use ropes for this too. I want Kali. I want Kali's favor also. Um, chat said use ropes, so there you go. I got the glasses. And we can keep sacrificing. There's more payouts. You, it's not always glasses your first payout. It's a random item in the game. And then after the first payout, you get um, the Kapala, if the you know Spelunky 2 works the same way as Spelunky 1 does. By the way, terrible chill. Um, so it, it seems like the ghost will split after a while to discourage things like ghosting. But for the time being, let's grab the Kapala and then pick up all this blood from uh, from, Sp uh, from Monty here. The Kapala fills up with blood from your enemies, resulting in you getting HP out of it. You can get free health. Um, okay, look, Turkey Man, <laughs> I can't, I can't do it right now, okay? Kapala OP, the Kapala is OP. Sam Weiser, hello. You just got back, what's up with the turkey? But don't worry about it. <laughs> you can give turkeys to the turkey man and he's very happy that you got his turkeys, he'll give you some gold. But it's like such a waste of time. <laughs> I bet you there's a secret in the game, like if you get the turkey on all the levels, then uh, you can win the game. That's a very spelunky thing to do. That is a passageway. Ooh, we could bomb our way down into a lower passage if we want. Oh God. There's a torch. Kill him, I killed him. Yeah, there are some lower passageways, but I don't, I don't really care about using a bomb for that. I mean, oh, I do have a lot of bombs. Oh, come on. I'm taking my torch. Goodbye, torch. It was good while it lasted. Is that a, is that a hired help? Hire Nurdle. Oof's hired hands shop. Spectacles and Ertle. I'm not buying Ertle. Hired hands are a bad idea. <laughs> they are dumb. There's another Kapala altar statue thing. Okay, I'm definitely using a bomb for this. Dog, I am so sorry. However, did let me kill that guy, which is pretty dope. Dude, there's a horned lizard right at the bottom of this! Ah! I want that uh, golden bug, the golden scarab. Double glasses, so cool. I know I'm so cool. What is down here? What the heck? Okay, before we go like too low, let's make sure we're uh, handling this situation. Uh, don't know how that managed to, to work. There's a spider. I want the spider because I want his freaking blood. Blood OP. Just just keep killing him. The faster you kill him, the more blood you get. We're up to five HP, which is pretty sweet. And I'm like, I'm really curious what's down here. It's a shop? Okay, well, I mean. Unfortunately, it looks a little bit one way. Welcome Reborn, I have wares for sale. Web gun, bomb bag, royal jelly! That's like four HP. I'm gonna buy the web gun, because I think with the web gun I can get out of this area. Um, okay, that's like a, a secret door. Is the web gun out of ammo? Oh my god, it's so hard to get the use the web gun to get out of here. Oh, it hurt me. Um I can just jump this. Why am I trying to fiddle with freaking cobwebs? Oh my god, get out of here, cobwebs. This is It's not good. I don't know why I can't see that door and get out of the door. Also, I don't need to use ropes or the web gun to get out of here. I can just do this. Oh crap. Wait, how do I get out of here? I gotta go this way? At least the ghost like kinda Fs off for a minute when it's chasing you through doors. 
No! Okay, well, rope it is. <laughs> um, we gotta go? We gotta go. But there is a key. So grab the key and then go. Grab the key and then go. Just grab the key and then go. Forehead. Um, the ghost has split. I do want the Ujedi though, because it's secret related. Excuse me, ghost. Uh, look, I'm not scared of ghosts. I ain't afraid of no ghost, but there we go. We got the Ujedi. <laughs> I'm a giraffe, hello, welcome. How you doing? Welcome to the stream. Um, don't mind me, I'm just like barely surviving where ghosts are concerned. All right, else. things happened. Oh wait, this is the, uh, okay, this is the same level, beating drums it looks like. It, it, it looks very similar to the, uh, the last one. Two layers, kind of flat. It's only a thousand gold per scarab. That's actually not that much. If you have the torch and you and you light a torch on the level, it provides light and also it uh Yo, oh, they're bleeding! Give me eight, give me your HP! I took some I took way too much damage there. Um Jesus. The torches give you money as well as just providing light. No way I'm going for that. Now you think the torch is gonna be better against this guy? I mean it lit him up. I, I feel like the torch might do two points of damage instead of one. I could maybe just put a bomb down. Like do you think he'll roll over the bomb and die? Well not that one. I blew myself up like a dumbass. Oh God. I got a new high score though. 